What's up, y'all? It's been a minute. So the other day I was asking um, all you guys on my, my IG stories for all of my artists and creative entrepreneurs out there. I was asking, I was asking in what areas are you stuck in your journey? And one of the questions or one of the comments was, one of the comments was, that they felt stuck in releasing music and having confidence in releasing music, which there could be a number of reasons why uh, somebody might not feel confident in releasing music. Um, could be perfectionism, could be they don't think the music that's good, um, could be they don't have a strategy on how to release music. And also, if you can relate to that, shoot me a, a message in the comments. Um, I would love to hear you know, what areas you guys feel like you might be struggling. Um, but also, just as a word of encouragement, um, you know, don't, don't take the music process too, too seriously as well. You know, you get better um, as you release music, um, putting yourself in a frame of mind of, of your music being in service to others and even in service to yourself, because I've seen multiple times where my music has been helpful, not just for people outside of me, but also for myself. Um, so remember that. But it kind of got me thinking a little bit more broadly with just releasing music in general, not so much so the, the confidence portion. So I thought it'd be cool to just give, you know, some tips when it comes to um, releasing music um, and what some campaign strategies can look like and things that I found helpful for me. And I'll kind of just be freestyling this off the top. I didn't really plan, but I just want to speak into some things that come to mind. So the first thing I'll say is one, I found a really helpful strategy for releasing music is to um, have a lot of music recorded, mix master and ready to go. And that way you can plan out releasing consecutively rather than releasing all at once. Reasons why this could be a helpful strategy. Um, it gives you the ability to stay in front of your audience a little longer. Um, Cause if you record say 10 tracks, um, you can spread out your releases uh, so that you're kind of on people's mind a little bit more. Um, kind of give your fans something to consume on a regular basis. And it also just gives you time to um, create more content um, while you already have content releasing. So, you know, you can stay active in front of your base. So I, I like this because it, it gives you the ability to um, just control your time a little bit more. You don't, um, you're not as rushed to, you know, just kind of create on the fly all the time. You can give yourself a bit of a cushion and it's really good, I guess, for the music climate of today, um, just because people consume music so much. It gives you a little bit more um, concentrated efforts. And it's really good for artists who are kind of just starting out. Um, and even for established artists um, or just people trying to uh, strengthen their base and, you know, really tap in and dig deeper into their, their pre-existing base. So a second point, which probably could have been my first point, but I wanted to talk about more traditional methods of um, releasing singles or albums, I guess pre predominantly albums, is setting like a two to three month buffer um, once your project is actually uh, finished and having a content schedule um, for releasing. And so that could be uh, really digging into what the meaning and purpose and intention of the album is. So if you take, um, for example, Goodish, the project that I dropped, uh, like two years ago. I can't believe it's two years. <laughs> but yeah, I had like, I don't know, maybe like a month, a month's worth of content uh, that I was releasing on schedule on my Instagram, a very curated photography, captions, and all it was doing was helping the uh, end user, my audience, to really get enticed about what was to come. And with that campaign style, it was, it was really intentional because we scheduled out, you know, photo shoots, video shoots. Um, we drafted up content. We did brand briefs. We did, you know, a lot for that record. But the idea behind it was just setting up the stage for the record 
and giving it a bit of a runway before release. And I guess the last point that I'll give, I'll give three points and try to keep it short, but I'll keep saying it, you know, cross platform collaborations, partnering um, with other artists or even, you know, other brands um, that are in line kind of with the type of artist that you are, are a really good strategy. And this is if you're really trying to maximize impressions um, and visibility, but I mean, I don't know any artist nowadays that doesn't um, try to leverage partnerships to try to um, launch their music further or into different markets that um, their music isn't hitting uh, as frequently or in the way they want to. And it can be all organic. It doesn't have to be forced or contrived or anything like that. Like, you know, with the the music video we did for the song Dance that I released for the Saturday series, um, you know, I brought in a young lady. Her name is Marley Hightower. Uh, she's a phenomenal dancer, and she also has a you know a good base on Instagram. And I saw an opportunity to just reach out and see if we can collaborate. And so. Um, you know, with her base and my base, you know, combined, it just kind of helped, um, you know, give some more visibility to the record that we were both, you know, excited uh, to work and be a part of. And so that's just, you know, a few ways that I could just kind of think of off top. And again, it really depends um, on the type of artist you are, um, how active, you know, you're looking to be, how far you're looking to push your career. Um, and so I always preface, you know, everything I do with what are the end goals, the, the success metrics, and that'll kind of help you define uh, how you need to uh, release a piece of music or develop, you know, a particular campaign strategy. But um, I'll leave it there because this video is getting a little long. But um, yeah, drop some comments in there of ways that you found um, helpful when releasing as an indie. Uh, and always just shoot me a comment as well if you like this video if you found it helpful and also just you know any other things you would like to hear me just kind of talk about um, you know I got expertise in you know branding and art development art direction creative direction songwriting uh, a little bit of production uh, yeah so just hit me up let me know I, I want to kind of keep doing more of these videos but I want to hear what you guys want not just you know what I want to talk about so uh, love you guys appreciate y'all support man uh, be looking out for the next one. I, I can't promise when it's going to be, but I'm hoping to do them more frequently. So, peace out.